title this morning called never should have made it <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I hit snooze about 50 times before getting up I don't know why I was so tired yesterday or why I did not want to get up but it was really bad um I just made it to campus and now I'm about to go to class and attempt to process what's being taught but i think i think i should be able to do that um today isn't really too busy i just have classes and um a meeting later tonight but other than that today isn't like super activity filled like it's just the daily life of crystal nothing spectacular nothing super interesting but um i'll definitely catch some footage from today just so i can add it in the vlog and let you guys see what i do on a daily consistent basis so yeah let me head off to class i starts in about 12 minutes thank god for hats y'all because my hair is just not like i haven't twisted it out or done anything to it in about two weeks this is the third week actually and my hair is looking a hot mess. So we thank God for hats that protect you from exposure of the real you. And um, I'm just blessed, man. I'm blessed to, to be able to own as many hats as I do because Lord knows that I don't, I don't know what I would do, really. Probably a huge, big old um, turban or something. But because what's going on under here? Yeah, no. That wasn't going to be seen by anyone so all i can say is that god is faithful mm -hmm. and um yeah hats are a blessing the weather feels amazing this morning i'm not really wearing anything worth showing but i'm gonna do it anyways so i'm wearing a black top and i'm wearing some boyfriend jeans or whatever they call them and i'm wearing my favorite tennis at the moment simple regular schmegular outfit so i am back home from campus um I have changed. I have a facilitation in class today and basically the facilitation is like me facilitating a mock therapy group. So I had to change into a more formal clothing for that event. But anyways, I have a new um, goal for this month. This is my day one and I'm not a water drinker, so this is actually very, very good for me. I did put some lemon in it. So, um, just to give it some flavor, because I think I don't like water because it has no flavor. So yeah, so we're gonna see how this goes. And um, yeah. So now I am at Walmart, and I am about to purchase a scale so that I can keep track of how much weight I am losing and gaining. So I'm about to walk in now and get my scale. This one is $17.88 and this one's $19.88 and my budget was about $20. So I'm trying to think about whether I want to go for the $19 one because this is like going to be $18 regardless. So might as well just round it up to $20. That one's white but I feel like that one's a risk. That one's at risk for becoming dirty eventually and I don't have time for that. So I'm probably just going to go with the clear one. Well, clearish. Don't you hate it when you go to the store and you have just a few things that you really want on your mind, right? On the list. And then you leave with stuff that you had no... <laughs> Well, not no, not had no business buying, but 
things you just remembered you need i've like been really needing makeup wipes so i really was like okay well i need to buy these and then since i'm going into this whole healthy um snacking healthy eating lifestyle i wanted to go ahead and buy the sugar snap peas and these are really good um i've had them before and i really enjoy them so i went ahead and purchased some and then of course like i showed you guys i bought the the glass body scale weight the glass weight tracking digital scale um and then i got some bobby pins for my hair i low-key should have gone to a beauty supply and not have allowed walmart to rob me but it's okay um i just don't have the time or the energy to go right now so i just purchased these and hopefully i don't lose them in like a week y'all know how barbie pins are you could buy a pack of 1000 and still be searching for them everywhere around the house so i'm really hoping that these stay intact and that i am able to um use them diligently and i am able to steward them okay come on church language diligently so um yeah i'm gonna head home now and start making dinner and then i'm gonna start doing my homework and other assignments um i'm going to be using this um it's a tender it's the chicken chicken breast in the tender slices and i'm going to be using this i pre-seasoned this yesterday so what i put in it was um the lari seasoned salt i put some cayenne pepper in there and then i put some garlic salt and then i put some roasted garlic and herb seasoning um these com the, a combination of all these is like really really good so i've always really liked using it because it always turns out really good so i'm going to be using the 100 percent italian extra virgin olive oil so they say h-e-b <laughs> um so hopefully it actually is y'all because you just don't be knowing out here anymore i'm going to start off by preheating my oven for the sweet potato fries and we're gonna do like probably like 175 i think that's good so then i'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit of my um virgin oil sauce in the skillet i'm just gonna turn that on like medium probably for now and then I'm going to um, go ahead and empty my stir fry medley and wash them real quick so this is pretty much what it looks like at the end um, kind of dividing and conquering <laughs> after dividing my huge broccolis into little baby ones I do leave my sugar snap peas the way they are because they normally like shrivel up and get smaller anyways so i just leave it alone so i'm gonna go ahead and um start working on the chicken i don't think i've sliced up the pieces so i'm gonna go ahead and quickly slice them up into little bits so that i can you know use them so yeah product of the chicken bits that I'm going for I prefer my chicken in like little tiny sizes little tiny bit sizes so this is kind of what I wanted just gonna go ahead and increase the heat what I normally like, and what I normally like to do is I like to just like leave it to simmer so I typically just grab the cover and just leave it in there to cook on like medium. And if I notice that it needs to be decreased in temperature, I just do that. But I'll check on that in a little bit. So the oven has gone off that it is ready and done preheating. So now I'm just going to um, grab some foil. Where the foil at? So now I'm just going to grab some oil and lay it down in the oven so now i'm just gonna put everything back because my mom was always like as you're cooking make sure you're putting everything back so it makes things a lot easier when you're finally trying to wrap up um so i'm just gonna put things back where they need to be dishes trash 
sauce. And it helps you to stay organized while you're cooking too, so that you won't be like all over the place. So our chicken is going pretty good. I'm about to just stir it up a little bit so that, oops, so that I can make sure that it's some. I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit just to make sure that it's all cooking uniformly. Now I'm just gonna cover it back up and focus on my veggies now. So with my veggies, I'm just gonna pump that to a medium. What I usually go for with my veggies is like a, a really nice um, kind of grilled, not grilled, but like a really nice roasted I don't know how to put it, but I just like to go for like um, a really nice cooked texture or cooked taste, overcooked taste. So it won't be like steamed veggies. No, it's more so like um, not fried. I can't think of it, but I'll show you guys whenever it's done. So normally what I do is I add a little bit of whatever is left of this. I mean, sheesh. Add a little bit of the, uh, my olive oil and then... I add my secret ingredient and, and that is honey so I add a little bit of honey to this just to like enhance its sweetness or whatever but just a little bit um, and then I add a little bit of um, garlic seasoning if I can find it where is it? Oh, it's over here. Add a little bit of garlic seasoning, just a little bit. And then I mix it all together. This is currently where the chicken is at in its readiness. I would say it's pretty much good to go. I checked around to see how even the chicken pieces were to know whether I should move on with my next process. So I'm gonna be using this Marcella mushroom sauce. Um, I like it. I think that it's just a good base, but what I like most about it is um, the mix that it, the mix that it makes with the chicken and the seasoning in the chicken and on the chicken. It's just so good. So usually I just add this to a chicken mix and then a little bit to the um, vegetables just so that it kind of has like a hint of the taste in it. So I'm just gonna take my sauce and just pour it pretty evenly. This is kind of weird. I've never had it like congealed like that but you know if I don't make it just know I got it from H E B. So I left these in for way too long, but let's see if they're if they're salvageable. Oh, they're not bad. I could still eat these. So these are our baked potatoes. Honestly, if all fails, I'll just mash this up and turn it into like mashed sweet potato. So it's probably the plan, to be honest. like a stir fry type of veggie. So this is the finished product of my meal. 
Um, it's pretty much what I wanted in terms of the balance I was going for. As you can see, my bootleg sweet potato mashed is struggling, but it works. It tastes the same and tastes fine, so I don't mind I'm working with it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for cooking with me. guys so much um i'm going to sign out here if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel like this video leave a comment below um and i will talk to you guys in my next vlog